Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I've got another really big Sainsbury's food haul for you. Um, we did click and collect again today. Um, we had one substitution which I kept. Um, yeah, that's it really, let's show you what I got. The same as I've done in the last couple of weeks, I'm gonna have to do this in two parts because there's a load on the floor. Gilly's investigating it. But yeah, quick overview, that's what it looks like. And we'll start on this section. So as you can see, we've got two advent calendars. Um, one's for Darwin, one's for Gilly. They are, as you can clearly see, advent calendars for dogs. Uh, yeah, it's same brand as last year. It's just a different picture. I like, they've got a gingerbread man and a little bunny on there. I think it's cute. And then I got some um, Plackers, I think they called those. It's dental floss. It's on the little handles. I like it on the handles rather than just the the string stuff. I prefer it that way. Um, some panty liners, some extra strong black bin bags. Uh, there's a bottle of Diet Coke. Some Fry Light, the sunflower oil version. Giant, I think it's a litre of washing up liquid in Apple Orchard. Some Maltese um, mini reindeers. We've got two um, things of reduced salt Bisto just because it's gravy season. Does that make sense? Well, it is in our house anyway. Um, I got a box of these Cadbury's Festive Friends. Yum. And then we've got some microwave rice. We got golden vegetable rice. Spicy Mexican style rice and then just plain white rice. I got two packs of sardines and spring water. Darwin and Gilly have these occasionally, like once a week, the meal because obviously it's good for their coat, the oil from the fish. And then I got some sliced apples for a dessert I'm going to make at some point in the next two weeks. And I got some maple syrup because we were running low. And then I've been wanting one of these pom-pom key rings for forever and John picked it up. It's so cute. We did do click and collect but we nipped in the store because there were certain things that I wanted um, to buy that weren't available online but I know they always have them in store. I will show you them when we get to them. But yeah, little grey pom-pom for my handbag. And we've got some Marmite cashews and Marmite rice cakes. And then we've got two containers of the lighter ready to eat custard. It's the Sainsbury's own brand. And then we've got a cheeky chocolate snowman. Two of these gluten free genius pizza braces. These amazing eggs. We had these last Sunday. They're so, not last Sunday, the Sunday before. They're so yummy. Doesn't really show up on camera. On camera, they look white, but they are pastel. They, are, they aren't white, they're like a pale pastel blue. And they have the most orange yolks ever, they're really yummy. And we've got some English muffins. This was the substitute. I ordered the Tesco um, Taste the Difference chocolate chip pancakes. And this is my substitution. It's fine, it's fine, but it wasn't what I ordered. Um, I got some Warburton's fruit loaf. I got some sweet chili chicken kebabs. They're like snacky things. John wanted a scotch egg, so we got one of those. And then there's some uh, low fat wraps. This is the thing that it always says online they don't have it, but they always do. They have loads in store, but the last couple of times I've done an online shop, they said this is out of stock, but I was able to pick it up. Um, we've got some tri colored pasta, red onions. Uh, a bag of the Sainsbury's Basic Toffees, which I've already opened. And we've got some of these cocktail sausages that Darwin and Gilly have in their breakfast. Two packs. Then we've got some pigs in blanket. Some unsmoked bacon medallions. 50% less fat, these ones. These are really good. Some chicken, oh there's lots of shadow today, um, chicken fillets, some Scottish 
smoked salmon, some sirloin steak, got some breaded place fillets, some Swedish meatballs, two chicken Kievs, some lamb mince, and a lamb shoulder. It's possibly the size of my hand. <laughs> it's quite small compared to last time's, but I cook it in the slow cooker and it falls apart anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Then in the frozen section, I've got some Yorkshire puddings, which is really lazy because Yorkshire puddings are the easiest thing to make, but you know, that's what I've done. Uh, a bag of Aunt Bessie's crinkle cut chips. Crispy chicken bird's eye chicken breasts. Salmon Wellington. We had this for dinner um, last night. In the whole thing, we had one tiny little bone, so it's really, and it tastes yummy. And a bag of peas and a bag of broccoli. And now for the second part. <laughs> um, I picked up some of this Ribena um, winter spice. I tried this at my mum's house on Thursday, but we were having it with hot water, so like, so it was like hot Ribena, but winter spice. Oh, this is so yummy. Can see myself stocking up on this because I think it's only out for Christmas and then they, yeah, it's limited edition. So I might have to stock up on this because it is good. Then our standard buttload of bananas. Um, I don't know why I've got such a bad shadow on it today. I don't think the lights have been moved. Yeah, um, so I've got some spinach, two bottles of Diet Coke, some potatoes, some carrots, some toasted flaked almonds for a baking recipe I'm going to be doing. I've got some goat's milk. Uh, the goat's milk is for um, Darwin and Gilly. Basically, we've been buying puppy milk because they like it, they have it as a treat. Um, Gilly isn't the best drinker. Like, you know, it, the, he's been really poorly in the past because he doesn't drink enough. Uh, but he really likes puppy milk, but we get these little cartons and they're like a pound. Um, so it's actually goat's milk and this whole thing was like a pound fifty. So this is what we're going to do to make sure our boys stay hydrated. Especially with all the heating going on, it's easier for them to get dehydrated. So goat's milk for the dogs. Um, bacon sizzler. It's beans and stuff. And then we've got two tins of sweet corn. Some pure sunflower spread. It's dairy free. Mushy peas, salt and vinegar, no, sea salt crisps. Oh my goodness, this stuff. If you get the opportunity to try it, this is Pop Works and Company apple pie, apple pie flavoured popcorn. It is amazing. Amazing. Uh, we got two bags of it, that's how good it is. We got some um, puff pastry for something I'm going to hopefully be making this weekend. Um, because of the offer that was on, by, it was cheaper to buy cans of caffeine-free coke than to buy the bottles, so that's what I did. Um, we got one ripe avocado. I like it, it's ripe and ready. <laughs> um, some low-fat grated cheese, curly whirlies, some brie, cheese and biscuits over the weekend, and then we got this. This is the corn, meat-free pepperoni slices. Really well reviewed. I saw this, um, basically it's for when I do pizzas. I like salami on my pizza, but salami does have a lot of calories. This stuff is really low in calorie. So if it tastes as good as the reviews say, hopefully it will be really nice on my pizza at some point in the next couple of weeks. I went a bit crazy in this section. Um, I got a Lloyd Grossman tomato and basil pasta sauce. I got a cheese picker mix, um, and yeah, I got carrot and sweet mash. Another carrot and sweet mash. Hang on, let's make some space. Another carrot and sweet mash. Mashed potato, red cabbage, red cabbage, and then more mashed potato. Yeah, I'm guessing winter is here. Um, so yeah, cheese picker mix. It has a selection of smoked cheese and applewood and cheddar and red Leicester. 
Yum. And then I got some baby potatoes with herbs. Some cabbage and leek mix. Cherry tomatoes and mushrooms. And that is our food haul. It came to a little bit less than £130. Um, obviously we had to pay 40p for carrier bags and it was free because we did click and collect. But yeah, that is our groceries for the next two weeks. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hope you're having a good day. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys.